close your eyes and watch your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay right here with the breath and let the breath be as comfortable as you can. Try to get a sense of nourishment from the breath, that it feels good being here breathing in and energizing the whole body with the breath, or relaxing the whole body with the breath, whatever the body needs right now, so see what the breath can do. As for other thoughts, you've got to let them go. This is where the training comes in. We're training the mind. And as with any training, there are things you have to give up if you really want to get good at what you're focused on. And so you have to be willing to give up those other thoughts for right now. You'll have plenty of time to think them. You've been thinking them who knows for how long. But how much time has the mind had to be really still and by itself and awake and alert at the same time? Usually when the mind gets still, we fall asleep. But that's not really strengthening. It just gives you a little bit of rest. But if you are able to maintain this focus while you're alert, okay, that requires mindfulness and requires concentration. These qualities are good to have, good to practice, good to develop. Whatever the work you need to do, okay, you need mindfulness, you need concentration. Mindfulness is keeping something in mind. It also involves being alert to what you're actually doing. And then you want a quality what they call ardency, which means you want to put your whole heart into doing it well. If you just do things in half measures, that's all you get in results, is half measures. When we go through life with just half measures, it's not really satisfying. So if, if you want something whole and good, you, you have to give your whole heart to it, and you have to be really good at what you're doing. So give yourself to the meditation for right now. And you'll strengthen these qualities, mindfulness, alertness. All these things are things you need, whatever your task in life. So there's no way you lose out, even though you may be giving up other thoughts for right now. You'll find that when you're working on a task, well, you're going to have to give up other thoughts too, if you really want to stay focused on the task. You want to get the task done well. So work on strengthening these qualities as you stay with the breath. Just keep coming back to the breath, back to the breath, and again, rewarding yourself with a really comfortable way of breathing when you come back. It's the same when you're training an animal in the house. If we just let it follow its own desires, it's going to make a mess of the house. You want to show it that you mean business, and it's not going to like it at first, but after a while as you, you give it rewards. And it finds that life for it is a lot more peaceful too. It's not getting beaten up all the time for making a mess. That way you benefit, you don't have to messes to clean up, and you get along much better with the, with the animal. It's the same way with your mind. When the mind is well trained, it'll do good things for you, and you live together in a lot more peace and harmony inside. So it's good to put up with some of the difficulties of the training, because the rewards are much greater. A peaceful mind, a harmonious mind, a mind that's strong in doing its duties, a mind that you can depend on. These are all things that we want, so we have to make sure the causes for these things, the training that gives rise to these things, is something that you really do well. So work at it every day. Give yourself some time every day to work at this. You brush your teeth every day, you comb your hair every day. Well, make sure that you look after your mind every day as well, because it's a lot more important. 